Hello America, I'm your host, Eddie Toe, and today on 4 Minutes, we have a special guest tonight. You might have known him from history class, but he's alive. I brought him back to life. His name is King George III, and he will talk about the war. It's a pleasure to be here, Mr. Toe. Ah, so, how did your war start? Well, it started around 1744. Um, the Frenchies, they're pretty jealous of our land and all of our troops and stuff. So they just kind of wanted to take our land. Uh, we also fought about uh, the northern the northern New England border. And so one thing went to another and it, the war was the Frenchies' fault. So. so were you allied with someone? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Algeria? Or would you rather go to France? Or even Hawaii? Then come to GoPlaces.com for the lowest airline tickets in America. I would like to welcome our guest, which he was previously interrupted on the broadcast, King Louis the Fifteenth. Frog in my throat. Alright, so how did like, this war start? Like, well, I, my forces and his we sort of disagreed over the land in oh, northern land he had. In my rightful land in northern New England. Mm -hmm. So why don't you guys just share the land? Because he's untrustworthy. Get the hottest new lineup of Chevy sports cars today. Visit your local Chevy dealer today. The general to go invade his Louisburg territory with an invasion force. My Ford Louisburg. <coughs> Named after me. Mm -hmm. So, he got the stronger of you. Unfortunately, yes conquered my my rightful fort. Well, I didn't really conquer it. My forces did. Yes, because you're a coward. You wouldn't go to England. You wouldn't either. To make an invasion force to conquer Louisburg. Yeah, because you wouldn't go to America. You stayed ruled for from England. Coward. You never went to America either. Never mind that. My forces were strong no matter what. They didn't need my rule. Well, they weren't strong enough. I would like to welcome our guest from the Wakwanaki Native American tribe. <laughs> so, what was your feelings about the war and the French? Well, the French were very fair to me and my people. They were very polite. So, how were they polite? Like, what they do? Like, they welcomed us in. It was hard. So, did you guys just like join you together? Yes. Basically. So, what was your weapon? Well, we did use tomahawks and bow and arrows until the French gave us muskets. So, what was your strategy? We hid behind the trees and then attacked and surrounded. Alright, thank you for coming on the show. So. Okay. You may go backstage. Alright, who would you fight against? We are fighting against Indians that were allied with the French. So you're facing them both of them together? Yes, we're getting double teamed, which is not fair. Alright, so who won? Well, neither of us won. We signed the Axe La Chapelle Treaty. <laughs> Basically, that said, uh, he gave me land, I gave his. Louisburg and Cape Breton back, and we'll go our happy, merry little ways. So, no one won? No, not really. It was a draw. I would have crushed him. I'm surprised you ain't If it continued, right. I, I would have destroyed him. I'm surprised no, you guys ain't fighting right now. I know, we've sorted our differences we've, a we've little bit. Thank you for tuning in. This is four minutes. Good night, everybody.